What is going on, guys? Welcome back to TJ Figs. Um, and today we are doing the AEW Dynamite review from last night. Of course, um, I forgot the date. I don't even know it. Um, but yes, AEW Dynamite review. Of course, last night I really enjoyed the show. We'll go through everything that happened almost, and yeah. We started off with a match that I thought was going to be the main event. It was going to be the Eliminator match. If Adam Cole beat MJF, um, he would get a chance at the AEW World Championship. If MJF won, he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't have to face Adam Cole again for the AEW World Championship. It was a banger match they started off with. It was at least 30 minutes, at most. You're not, like, not at most. At least 30 minutes, sorry. But, uh, yeah, in the end, um, MJF would try to cheat. He'd try to use the ring. The ref would stop him before he hit Adam Cole. Um, Adam Cole would, uh, super kick him, I'm pretty sure. Um, get, um, on the top rope, hit a Panama Sunrise, hit the boom, and then pick up, try to pick up the victory. He goes, one, two and we hear the bell ring at two it was like what for a straight minute i was like did adam cole win or was i'm just tripping adam cole lost to mjf because of freaking um the time limit mjf is a god holy cow that was insane. At two and a half, Adam Cole could have picked up the victory, but because of the time limit, it didn't happen. Uh, so, yeah, MJF retains and will not have to face Adam Cole again for now. Um, after that, it was backstage. It was Mr. C.M. Punk. It was his video talking about, like, all the stuff he wants to do whenever he gets back into the wrestling ring, um, that he's been away for so long and all this stuff. But, yeah, after that, it, we hear Sammy Guevara. The first thing we hear from Sammy Guevara since uh, Double or Nothing whenever he lost to the AEW World Championship. Um, he gets interrupted by Mr. Darby Allen, who would have a match later in the show. But um, he gets interrupted. Him and um, Sammy just talk about, he's like, congratulations on your um, pregnant wife. It's a baby girl, blah, blah, blah. You know, congratulations to Sammy Guevara. Um, definitely one of the faves here on the TJ Figures UJ YouTube channel. Um, but, yeah, Sammy Guevara, uh, he got interrupted by Darby Allen. Um, he tells him she should leave JAS if he wants to become the world champion. And I think Sammy Guevara should, too. I mean, and then we hear Chris Jericho's music. Um, Chris Jericho comes out, gets in the face of, um, Sammy Guevara, and he said, uh, and, uh, I don't, I forgot what happened, but eventually, um, Sammy Guevara said that he's not apologizing to MJF, so I think, or not MJF, <laughs> to Chris Jericho, so I feel like, um, Sammy Guevara is gonna turn on JS ASAP, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah, I feel like Sammy Guevara is gonna turn on Jericho, and then, um, we hear Sting, and Sting and Jericho face off with their bats, and they put, like, their bats to each other's throats, and it's like they're gonna have, like, a bat match almost. I thought that would be pretty fun, um, at, like, Forbidden Door or something, you know, have a bat match. Sting versus Chris Jericho in a bat match. <laughs> um, after that, it was... The IWGP World Championship, Sunada, I think his name was, he issues a, a World Championship. His IWGP Championship will be on the line for an IWGP purse. Um, for the IWGP Championship, it's um, going to be a open challenge for anybody on the roster. And it would later get... Um, Accepted by, um, Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy Jack Perry versus Sunada for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at Forbidden Door. Let's go. Um, and then it was our actual, um, match of Sting and Darby Allen. 
and um, Orange Cassidy and Keith Lee versus Brian um, Cage, Swerve Strickland, and like the AOP guys that we saw like last week face somebody. But yeah, Sting would pick up the victory for his team of Darby Allen, Keith Lee, Orange Cassidy, and of course Sting by hitting a Scorpion Death Drop and picking up the victory. There's the setup. We got Brian Cage doing like a power bomb to um, Darby Allen, and we have um, Sting delivering the coffin drop, or not the coffin drop, the um, freaking Scorpion Death Drop um, to Swerve Strickland. And I don't have a Swerve Strickland, obviously, so I'm using our truth um, But... Let's go Wardlow versus Jake Hager for the TNT Championship. Wardlow would pick up the victory with the Powerbomb Symphony, and then he'd be looking at the, like, Titantron thing, and we see Christian Cage and um, Luchasaurus. And Christian says, Luchasaurus accepts your championship opportunity for the TNT Championship. And then uh, he said, now Luchasaurus, back away. And it's Arn Anderson, and he's bloodied up, blood's dripping from his head, all down his white t-shirt. It was like, wow. And then Wardlow runs to the back trying to save him, but it's too late. I mean, Christian has already taken control of him and beaten the crap after, out of him. And then we see a freaking video, and it's Tanahashi. Here we go, Tanahashi from New Japan Pro Wrestling, and he said he wants a shot at the AEW World Champion, MJF, at Forbidden Door. Um, and we then get, um, like, a backstage promo with MJF, and he was like, um, Renee, Renee Paquette came up to him and was like, um, how do you feel about you having to defend your title um, at Forbidden Door against Tanahashi? And, um... Uh, MJF was like, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, or freaking Tony Khan's talking about, but, uh, sorry, Tanahashi, <clears throat> no can do. And, uh, yeah, that's what he said. Gave him a thumbs down for, um, Tanahashi, so I don't know if it's official or not, um, but, yeah, that's what happened. After that, it was Sky Blue versus Tony Storm. Um, of course, Ruby Soho was on ringside. Of course, cheating for Tony Storm. Um, Tony Storm picks up the victory by tap out, like a little clutch lock on her legs. And Willow comes out all happy and runs away, uh, runs off Tony Storm and Ruby Soho from attacking um, Blue uh, Sky Blue anymore. And um, but yeah, and then, after that, of course, it was the Jungle Boy promo where he accepts the thing with Hook. So, him and Hook can both have title belts on him. But then, it was the main event. It was the Elite versus the Blackpool Combat Club. And the Elite would pick up the victory! The Elite picks up the victory with Hangman Adam Page delivering a buckshot lariat to somebody like Claudio Castanoli. That's what I have set up there. I have the Young Buck, um, Matt Jackson, attacking Wheeler Uter right there, hitting the super kick. And then I have freaking John Moxley delivering a, um, what's his name? Uh, 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 I forgot what it's called. Paradigm Shift to Nick Jackson. And after the match, after the Elite had won, Eddie Kingston returns. Let's go, and he helps out the Elite because the Blackpool Combat Club and Claudio Castanoli and all of them turned on him and all that. And then Kenny Omega returns and gets attacked from behind by Will Ospreay. And Will Ospreay delivers two of the freaking, like, his little elbows to the back of the head. Um, move his finisher right there. I'm using this old Randy Orton. As my Will Ospreay, so this will be my Will Ospreay for Forbidden Door. But yeah, he delivers that move, and then, like, Will Ospreay, like, gets um, gets out of the ring and walks away. And then, of course, uh, Danielson was on ringside um, doing commentary, as he always does for Blackpool Combat Club matches. But yeah, I really enjoyed this show so far. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button to join the TJ Fig fam, the figure fam. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you had an amazing time, uh, time watching this video. And uh, let me know what you thought of it down below if you can comment or whatever. 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and TJ Figs out.